A great finishing move is an important part of any wrestler. More than a mere match ender, it pops the crowd, helps the performer stand out amongst their peers, and helps define their character's identity. Picture Steve Austin without his Stone Cold Stunner, or The Rock without the People's Elbow. Wouldn't be the same, would it? Given how important these moves are, using one against its owner is an almighty slap in the face. Granted, not every finisher is unique. Just look at the 700 different guys who've used the super kick over the years, but hitting a wrestler with their own signature maneuver? That's a paddling. While many move thieves have paid for their hubris over the years, some have been successful. This is particularly true in WWE, where several big wins have been scored on the back of such villainy. And although finisher theft doesn't happen often, it always leaves an impression. I'm Andy from WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 best stolen wrestling finishers ever. Number 10. John Cena's Rock Bottom at WrestleMania 29 while not necessarily a bad match, Rock vs Cena 2 suffered from diminished returns, with hype levels way down from previous years once in a lifetime spectacular. Still, Rock and Cena were too talented to fail. They closed WrestleMania 29 with a match that started slow but soon warmed up and produced a blazing home stretch with multiple finisher reversals and a textbook piece of signature move thievery from Cena. Having just traded strikes with the Great One, Cena hit Rocky with his own rock bottom, prompting a dramatic near Fall, but Big Dwayne kicked out. He then hit the move himself, drawing another two count, but after a long, long period of reversals and counters, John finally nailed an attitude adjustment for the victory. Number 9. Brock Lesnar's Ankle Lock from SmackDown, September 2003 The Ankle Lock is an important part of Kurt Angle's in-ring arsenal, but the Olympic hero probably should have picked a more efficient submission hold, given the amount of people that have put him in the move over the years. Now, few of these people actually submitted Angle, but for a while, opponents using the Ankle Lock was a regular occurrence, with this being the most notable example. Kurt and Brock Lesnar created unparalleled drama in their classic Iron Man match, with the Beast conceding the first fall via DQ, but easily picking up the second. Then came the salt in the wound. With Angle down, Brock grabbed his foot, applied the ankle lock, and forced the Olympian to submit to his own move. Ankle fought back throughout the match, and actually had Lesnar tapping to the ankle lock later on, but he still lost five falls to four. Number 8. Finisher Roulette, Vengeance 2002 now this match was bonkers. Undertaker, Kurt Angle and The Rock dropped only their biggest bombs in what amounted to no more than a finisher shootout. Sure, there wasn't much psychology on display, but it was bags of fun, particularly when they started stealing each other's moves. Rocky laid Taker out with a chokeslam, then went after Angle, who found himself trapped in an ankle lock, surprise surprise. The Olympian wasn't going to stand for this though. He rolled out of the move, got to his feet, and drilled the people's champ with a rock bottom. Undertaker, not wanting to feel left out, completed the roulette by taking the Olympic hero out with an angle slam. How did it end? With Rocky hitting his own move, the rock bottom, on Kurt. Boring. Number 7. Undertaker Spears Edge, SummerSlam 2008. Edge's finest in-ring performances often came in big stipulation matches, and this Hell in a Cell classic is one of them. His feud with The Undertaker was great, and while not as brutal as some of the stipulation's bloodier offlings, the match ruled. Edge threw himself through several tables, and the cell wall breakage is still repeated in highlight packages today. Still, one of the more memorable moments came not from a weapon spot, but Taker using Edge's spear against him. The dead man had already felt the move several times throughout the bout, but he made it his own towards the end. He speared his opponents out of his boots, smashed him with a camera, and that set up victory in what would be his last major singles match with the rated R superstar. Number 6. Seth Rollins RKO's Randy Orton Extreme Rules 2015 Few finishing moves are as iconic as Randy Orton's RKO. It's easily his character's biggest hook, and it has become WWE's most pop-worthy finisher. Given how famous the RKO has become, it always comes as a huge surprise whenever someone turns the tables on Orton, which is precisely what happened at Extreme Rules 2015. Orton was facing WWE Champion Seth Rollins, but was banned from using the move beforehand. This put him at a huge disadvantage, but while he couldn't use the RKO, there was nothing stopping Rollins. He blasted Orton with the move after interference from the authority, then crawled out of the cage to safety, winning the match and retaining his title. The confusing stipulation didn't get over live, but a smart move from Seth nonetheless. Number 5. The Rock Pedigrees Triple H at Judgment Day 2000 
Finisher theft was commonplace during the Attitude Era, but while overuse made it tough to differentiate one example from the other, this example stands out. Triple H and The Rock wrestled an excellent main event, and while there were several interferences, Rocky's many comeback sequences were truly epic. The game decided he'd humiliate his opponent late on. He cleared the announce table and set Rock up for a rock bottom. But no, the great one reversed it into a pedigree. The table didn't break though. Instead, both men bounced brutally off its surface and eventually a groggy rock stumbled back into the ring to beat the 10 count. A late scare for Triple H in this Iron Man match, but he eventually took a fortuitous victory when the returning Undertaker attacked him for a DQ. Silly sausage. Number 4. Yokozuna's Revenge, King of the Ring, 1993 A classic case of Hulk Hogan being a giant dickhead, WrestleMania 9 saw him steal Yokozuna's moment. Having just defeated WWE Champion Bret Hart, Yoko immediately found himself on the receiving end of Hulk's red and yellow shovel, with Hogan burying the new champ in just 22 seconds. Fortunately, the big fella scored revenge just two months later. He wrestled Hogan at King of the Ring, and this time he was able to squish the Hulkster with his own signature leg drop, kickstarting his second WWE title run. It sounds decisive, but it's Hogan, so you know he was protected. The finish came when an imposter cameraman threw a fireball in his face, giving a nice, convenient excuse for the loss. Still, who didn't enjoy wrestling's biggest egomaniac losing to the move he'd popularised? Number 3. Chris Jericho's Big Night at Vengeance 2001 Chris Jericho is a transcendent performer who's been relevant for decades, but his defining moment came all the way back in 2001. With the invasion over, WWE ran a one-night tournament to crown their first ever undisputed champion, and Jericho was in the mix. Y2J overcame WCW champion The Rock in the first round, and he did it via rock bottom, with the Great One distracted following Vince McMahon's interference. This technically makes him the last ever WCW champion, though the upcoming merger would kill that in under an hour. Jericho met Stone Cold in the final and actually tapped out to his own walls of Jericho, but the referee was down. Booker T interfered, allowing Jericho to make the cover and Earl Hebner to count the 1, 2, 3, with Jericho becoming the first ever undisputed champion after narrowly avoiding a taste of his own medicine. Number 2. The Sharpshooter Screwjob Survivor Series 1997 the Montreal Screwjob remains the most infamous moment in professional wrestling history, even 20 years on. It destroyed kayfabe, humiliated Bret Hart ahead of his WCW transfer, and effectively kickstarted the Attitude Era. With Vince cast as the villain, the iconic Mr. McMahon persona was born, and WWE set off on their most successful business period, eventually driving WCW out of business. The Screwjob was born primarily of Hart's decision to leave, and subsequent refusal to drop his WWE title in Montreal, but it manifested through finisher theft. The hitman was stuck in his own sharpshooter when Vince McMahon ordered for the bell, and the shot of Brett trapped in the hold but not tapping out remains a defining image. A miserable night for Hart, but the shot has become iconic as it is notorious. Number 1. Triple H Tombstones The Undertaker, WrestleMania 27 Though not as highly regarded as his matches with Shawn Michaels, Undertaker wrestled two absolute WrestleMania bangers with Triple H in 2011 and 2012, with this being one of them. Taker and the game worked WWE's big fight formula to a T. They had the crowd glued throughout, and while Triple H begging The Undertaker to stay down was pretty ridiculous, it created an incredible spot. The game pulled out Taker's signature taunt, running a thumb across his throat, and the audience gasped. They knew exactly what was happening, and seconds later, Triple H had dropped The Undertaker with a tombstone pile driver. The tension was palpable. It felt for sure that the streak was coming to an end as Triple H symbolically folded Undertaker's arms across his chest. Fortunately, the dead man kicked out, but for conning the whole world into believing the streak was over, him and Hunter hit the top spot. Prince Amin! Prince Amin has woken up! Oh god, there's Jörn Simmons! Jörn Simmons takes out, kid! The enforcer of the congregation strikes again. Why would you look at that? You got all the way to the end of the video and your mother said you'd amount to nothing. What are the chances? While you're here, why not watch one of our other many, possibly quite good channels, or watch another video which will be largely in the same vein as the quality content you've just endured. Go on then.